Luck is a fickle yet fascinating companion. It shapes our journey in ways we could never anticipate. As we continue our way through Argentina, we kind of feel we ran out of luck. I don't want to do this. But maybe it all depends on how you see it. After all, it's not every day that one gets to experience such a snowfall at this time of the year. The last two days had been tough working on getting the landy unstuck. And as the wind picked up, we decided to give up climbing the Tromen volcano and go down. It was a great decision, because just meters away from the camping in Chosmalal, we started hearing a strange noise coming from the engine bay. We wanted to relax, or at least I needed to relax a bit. And yeah have a bathroom, have a place where we can shower and yeah, have a couple of days of a bit more relaxed environment and guess what, things lasted like, I don't know, two minutes, just like 10 meters before the camping, the car started sounding really bad, uh, either the belt or the engine, we literally we're afraid of driving into the camping. We just did a couple of meters, stopped the car, went for lunch, quick lunch. And for quick lunch, I mean some pizzas and came back. And now Kai has been checking. So the engine was, first of all, sounding really weird. Second, the belt was also making noises. So here, remove the belt, check all the bearings and it looks like one of the bearings could be damaged the tensioner uh, good that we have a spare for that but then while checking the belt either Kai didn't put the belt right or it was already broken but we destroyed the belt and this time we don't have a spare so now we need to find somewhere here in town a spare for the belt and then check the if with the new bearing the noise is just gone and the noise from the engine, double check it if it's our imagination or it was just the belt or we're not sure but it's a bit overwhelming at the moment. <laughs> New day at the Blue Landy workshop. I already changed to his repair clothes. It's already working. What's the idea today? Get rid of the noise. <laughs> Which you think is coming from? The generator bearings. I don't want to do this. It's a lot of work, huh? Even Kai, that he actually enjoys putting things apart, he doesn't want to do it. That's how painful it is. The bearing in the back of the alternator was destroyed and partly melted. So it explains the smell and the noise. Luckily, we had a spare since Jordan, and Kai was able to replace it and put the alternator back in place. Which also meant we finally could enjoy some time in the camping and recover from the hectic of the last days.
They kind of know that we're eating meat, huh? a nice place here protected by this hill and the trees next to the lake these are no ordinary trees our Aucaria trees are like living relics from the Jurassic period, existing for millions of years. With their ancient lineage, our Aucaria trees connect us directly to the past, resembling something out of a dinosaur's time. For generations, indigenous communities have gathered these pine nuts for their nutritional value and cultural significance. Starting to rain a bit. We are leaving this place in this terrible weather. It's freezing, but it's not freezing enough that we get snow, so it gets everything absolutely wet. My feet are frozen. <laughs> What started as rain very fast turned into snow. That's my hometown. 
down. But here it's because of a saint, so different. But I had to stop. And what we thought it was an isolated weather front turned into the last big snowstorm of the season. So it's snowing a lot and we want to go through the 23 and the guys here in the private uh, place said that they don't have any saying so we can decide to try it or not. And there are two other cars that want to go as well. So let's see. I think the other two cars went uh, to the police station. There were already one but I think they want to go to another one to, seek, uh, to get a second opinion. Uh, we're going up the mountain and see how it is for ourselves. We found shelter with great dessert and continuing our way around Pia Pewenia looking for camp. we would be driving on snow in the middle of November.
I checked walking down the path in the, in the forest but there's like a bridge and it's completely full and I don't have idea what's underneath I only know that I was sinking like to my knees so that's not a good thing <laughs> so let's turn around it's funny to go to the volcano it says only 4x4 I mean but it's only 4x4 <laughs> This is the path, but I don't know what's underneath. That's why I'm afraid of. I mean, the trees are here, not so thick. Oh, okay, that's what I meant. So this is schwierig. Check in the area where we can we park. Look at those icicles. Insane. Because the wind is coming from there, and maybe those trees can protect us a bit. This is going to be the camp for tonight. Just in the beginning of the forest. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Like winter wonderland. But it's freezing. It's minus for sure because everything freezes. Oh, <laughs> let's go back to the car. I'm in the car again. It gets freezing cold really, really fast. I told Carsten that he can sleep inside, but he says he wants to try to do a shelter and maybe sleep in a tent outside. I mean, it's beautiful and the wind and the bad weather should stop because tomorrow they say it's going to be sunny. So it could be a good idea or, yeah. For me, it's too much work. <laughs> I prefer to be now in the heater inside the car. Kasten is going to really sleep here. Look at this. So cute. It looks like another storm is coming. I think we will not prepare anything outside today for dinner and eat something inside. I mean, this is how cold it is and just taking consideration, the heater, the exhaust is just here and doesn't matter. All this ice. There's already ice inside the car here. That's how cold it is outside. Is this schon full? No, I don't think so. Oh. We have a gas cartouche. How is cartouche in English? Ah, we have a gas cartridge now. It's actually for custom. But we're going to use it to cook some soup. Inside the the car.
the doors, the metal part, also got really frozen, so that was difficult to open the doors. This is from the inside. We also sucked some snow while driving. It was so fine and in the air. That <laughs> That's not ideal. Let's go up the volcano. This time we will make it. It came all the way from there to the forest. Some parts are really deep. <laughs> Crater Casa is going to go swim. Sweet. Refreshing. When there's no snow, this path down the here, you can do it with the 4x4. And up here, it's 45 degrees. Yeah, it's insane. With a bit of loose gravel, stones, yeah. complicated. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, that's not stable around. We saw him up, putting the, the board on. He had one of those uh, split boards, snowboards. Oh, so yellows. So the local guy, the guy with the snowboard, said that it's not normal that it snows at this time of the year. He also said that the year was really, really weird, that it started really late to snow. And that also in the last months, it rained really, really a lot. And yeah, because the temperature was like really high and it, it rained a lot and they didn't have really good uh, winter season and yeah for us we are lucky we are lucky we can see so much snow in the andes <laughs> yes we were extremely lucky to experience this sometimes things just work out the alternated issue delay us a couple of days, but it was exactly long enough for us to land in this beautiful part of the world, just as it turned into winter wonderland. We 
ultimately our perception of luck may be less about external forces and more about how we choose to perceive and navigate what's coming our way. Here's to many more lucky moments in the future. Until then, enjoy the ride!